welcome back um, to my guest room and I am wearing my new Mandalorian Baby Yoda Star Wars shirt. I'm pretty excited about it. Today is October 30th and so if you are a Mandalorian fan you would know that Mandalorian season 2 starts today. So that's exciting and I'm really trying to pretend like I'm super excited right now because we we're supposed to leave for Florida in a week from today and we are not. And also it's actually snowing outside today so what a great day everyone. <laughs> so today I am going to be talking about my top 10 Disney TV shows, um, series, etc. So um, this is just kind of, I guess, the last version of my top 10, like, you know, because I did my movies and animated movies and live action movies, and now I'm just going to talk about TV shows. And so let's get started. Um, I guess I'll just start with The Mandalorian since I kind of already talked about it. I think on this list, this is probably my favorite, um, which is crazy. So I would not consider myself like a huge, huge Star Wars fan. Um, I do like Star Wars. I've seen all the movies. I do go to the movie theater to see the movies, but I'm not super well versed in Star Wars. So like, I can't tell you anything specifically, you know, like in the actual, like, what do they call it? Canon or whatever of Star Wars. Um, so like, I know like a lot of people didn't like the last movie because it didn't really make sense, but I thought it was a good movie because I don't, you know, like know enough to care about some of these things that people are worried about. But I think like cinematography wise, I like Star Wars. I think they do such a great job and the stories are so well told. And The Mandalorian, I think is the best of them all. The music's incredible. I feel like well-deserved Emmy for the soundtrack um, and like the music production on that show, which they talked a lot about in the behind the scenes, like docu-series of The Mandalorian, which I thought was also really good. Um, and the character is good of The Mandalorian itself, of course, the child is amazing. I remember like watching the first episode and being like, what's gonna happen? And then they show the child and I was like, oh, it was like the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I clearly just had caffeine because I sound like I did. I'm like hyped up right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my favorite. Um, I would say like um, the character, I don't know, I just really like the show. I like how there's like some strong female character, uh, strong female character in the show, which is good. And the Mandalorian itself, like the concept of the Mandalorian seems really cool and I don't know, so that's just it. So that's my number one. Um, and then the rest, really no particular order, but I will go down the list as I thought of them. So here we go. So the second is Lizzie McGuire. This should come as no surprise to you because I talked about it in my top 10 movies, how much I love this show and I love the movie. Um, I did not watch the whole series as a kid because we did not have cable, so I missed the first few seasons of it. So I'm actually watching that now on Disney Plus. But and it's funny how like kind of junky the animation of like Lizzie McGuire's like animated character is, like compared to what it probably could look like now. But I just think the show is so funny. Um, and a little a little cheesy and sometimes a little cringeworthy, but it's so good. And again, I love Hilary Duff, so how can you not love Lizzie McGuire, the TV show? Um, but uh, like even her brother who like used to annoy me it kind of cracks me up for now watching them back so good show wish again I'm gonna bring it up again that they were making the adult version of the show but they're not currently and Hilary Duff is pregnant again anyway so hopefully that actually comes back at some point because I would love to see what happens with that next up is another show that I watch a lot at like like before I go to bed kind of like I do with Lizzie McGuire um and it's just like such a funny simple show to watch and I think I've seen almost every episode and that's Phineas and Ferb uh by far my favorite animated um series that I'm going to talk about today I just like I just think it's so good I love the theme song I love Candace in there and like how <laughs> she like always tries to get everyone in trouble um, because I also love Ashley Tisdale in addition to Hilary Duff and I think that there's always like the funny musical episodes and their their numbers and I like how it actually showcases like um, and I, I see this a lot about other things but I actually like how it kind of makes being smart cool um, because you know Phineas and Ferb are like brilliant and they make up these huge plans and they build these huge things and the kids like them um, you know for being smart like that because uh, I feel like a lot of times like nerds or smart people are portrayed as like a bad thing so I like that part of it um and I'm trying to think like my favorite episode I think is when they made that giant roller coaster it's I don't know it's just like one of my favorites but uh so I don't know such a great show I love that show and I love that like the like British in there too <laughs> like isn't the dad British or something but 
So that's Phineas and Ferb. Next is Hannah Montana. I feel like this is like so basic for me to say this, but I actually really liked this show. Um, I was a little bit older when it came out, so it's not like I identified like, well, I was like, I was like, oh, I'm like 12 and I want to be Hannah Montana. Um, but I really liked like the concept of it. I thought it was a, a good show, like how she was hiding. And I thought the music was actually pretty good in that show. Um, and it was just like, I don't know, Billy Ray Cyrus was kind of funny in that show too. Obviously Miley and yeah. What else can I say about it? Um, I feel like, oh, I'll be obviously unrealistic, but still a pretty good concept. I feel like, like looking back at that show, uh, it just is funny. Like obviously how like specifically, uh, like kind of cheesy it was looking back and they're like, how could you not tell that was Miley Cyrus or well, whatever her name was. Um, what's her name in the show? Oh my gosh. Hold on, give me a second. Um, <laughs> it is Miley. I was going to say Miley and I was like, it doesn't seem right because that's actually Miley's name, but Miley Stewart was her name of the show. And I thought like Lily is such a good character in that show too, how she also has like an alias of Lola. But anyway, I think I was saying like, it, it's funny like looking back, like how like kind of dumb it was because clearly Miley is the same person as Hannah Montana with just a blonde wig on, but whatever and then I liked how like Oliver had like a huge crush on Miley or on Hannah Montana until he found out it was Miley so good just such a cute show um and uh, I think I'll probably start watching that on Disney plus again too sometime soon so next up is the sweet life of Zach and Cody I actually just watched this entire series during COVID again I, I don't think I watched it I know I watched a lot of it like when I was older but I didn't watch the whole thing when I was a kid again because we didn't have cable um, but it's such a funny show. I love like the setting of the tipped in. I like all the trouble they get into. Arwen is probably my favorite character because I think he's so funny. And I like, uh, Ashley Tisdale's in that too. And, um, I like, I like who, uh, you know, like London Timpton's character too. Actually, I really just like everyone, even mostly I like, but it's actually like a good concept for a show. And I don't know, everything just makes me laugh. It's funny though, they have like a few Halloween episodes and the one Halloween episode made me think of it because it's almost Halloween is when they get like into that one hotel room and it's like super scary <laughs> because there's a ghost and stuff. And it actually was a really scary episode. <laughs> And um, I was like watching it at nighttime and I was like, I can't watch this. I don't like anything scary. <laughs> so, um, but I like that. And then like, I guess like I'm just going to be like slash the sweet life on deck. I'm just watching that um, series now. I didn't watch any of that when it was on TV. Um, but um, I, uh, what's the girl, Debbie Ryan, is that her name? Who's on that show? Hold on, let me look. Well, I'm like actually kind of proud of myself that I actually knew that <laughs> it was Debbie Ryan. Um, but I like her character on that show and I've only like a few, maybe like 10 or 12 episodes into that show and then I kind of stopped watching because then I, um, you know, it was like summer and I wasn't going to sit around and watch TV all the time, even though we couldn't go anywhere with COVID, at least in the summer, I could sit outside and read. So I did that instead. <laughs> so I got to get back to finishing that fun. Um, but that one's just as good of a series and that I like... I kind of like that, like, the the parents aren't really on the show. I think it's, um, I feel like a lot of the episodes are about Carrie, who, like, I didn't really love that character, so I'm kind of happy she's not really on it, but, so, I'm pretty excited to put this on my list, and, um, I don't know why I just said that. That doesn't make any sense, and I'm losing it again, so, moving on. Next episode, or next show I'm going to talk about is Kim Possible, so who doesn't love Kim Possible and Ron Stoppable? And I can't be the only one, and this is probably on purpose, but does anyone think it's funny that, well, obviously I know they made these names on pur purpose, but like, why is Kim Possible's name actually be impossible and Ron Stoppable, who's like obviously the worst sidekick, is unstoppable? That always is like, hmm, it seems like opposite to what their actual characters are. But I, I like the show. I love her little pager. I like how much of a, um, a baddie she is. And I like how much they talk about the, uh, don't they eat a lot, like a lot of nachos on that show? <laughs> Fights crime. I just think it's so good. Oh my gosh. Can I go back to Phineas and Ferb for a minute and talk about how much I love Perry though? I love that part of the show. I think it's like so unnecessary that they put that in there, but like, I like just like every episode. Where's Perry? Anyway, going back to Kim Possible. Um, do, 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 do. That's all I gotta say about that. Great show. If you don't know what I'm talking about because you're too young, you should watch that one too. I'm sure that's also on Disney+. Plus. 
Next up is a very like obscure show and I think it only had two seasons but um Phil of the Future is one of my favorite shows. This one I actually remember watching on TV so it must have been after we got cable um but I just for some reason really liked the show and I think part of it is because I really like Allie of Allie and AJ and she was on that show and um I thought she was like such a good female lead in that that show but I thought like the Phil like just being from the future was really cute I really wish they kept that show on a lot longer I actually really liked that um yeah but I'm pretty sure that's also on Disney plus so if you've never heard of this one which is definitely a little more obscure than the other ones then uh look that one up too so next is Doc McStuffins I know this seems really weird that a 32 year old is putting Doc McStuffins on their list but I love this show uh I used to like I didn't go out of my way to watch it by myself I used to watch it a lot with my nephew um or the kids I babysat actually so I feel like I've seen way too many episodes of the show but I, I think the concept is so cute and it got so many people like kids into like medicine and I feel like as a physician I'm always like oh this is so cool it's like kind of like a character that I can identify with who's a cartoon and um I don't know it's just it's a really cute show I like how like I like her little theme song sometimes we sing it to Max like I feel better so much better <laughs> that song is cute and I like that her mom is a radiologist in the show I think that's so cool um and you know how like you know the toys talk and I think she's the only one who can hear them but um like stuffy so cute and Lammy's one of my favorites. Actually, fun story. I have a Lammy plush, which I actually don't have. It's at my parents' house. But when I... Sure. Translate into which language? Did you guys just hear that? My phone's just trying to get me to translate something. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Um, I think it's my Apple Watch is doing something weird. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, when I fell, I fell at Disney once. Um, well, more than once. But I fell walking into Sci-Fi Dine-In. I just, like, slipped on water and just, like, slammed on my knees. And it hurt so bad. Uh, and I remember my mom, or my sister, I feel like I've told this story. But I remember my sister, like, saying, like, are you crying? Because you're embarrassed or because it hurt. But it hurt so bad. I hurt my knees so, so bad. I have bad knees to begin with because of running. And it was just brutal. So I remember my mom <laughs> bought me a Lammy stuffy before this even happened. <laughs> And, and like a small child but mind you I was probably like 28 years old or 26 years old somewhere in there my mom like pulled out Lammy and she's like will this make you feel better <laughs> I just love her she's so cute so that's a good show for sure and again a little bit of a women empowerment show which I like in, gen in general so next up on my list is High School Musical the musical the series uh I just um can't wait for the show to come back. I think they're filming, a, I'm pretty sure they're filming a second season, but I have no idea when it's coming back because I feel like COVID has like hit, knocked down like everything. But um, I I loved High School Musical, the movie. Um, that movie came out actually when I was in high school. So I feel like I was really connected to it. I remember going on ski trips, uh, like we did ski club every Friday and the drive was like 45 minutes to an hour and we would just watch High School Musical on the way there and back, we, which we loved. And we'd sing all the songs and High School Musical 2 was also very good. High School Musical 3, not my favorite, but I really like the other two, and probably, again, Ashley Tisdale, so I've named three things on this list that Ashley Tisdale are in, <laughs> but I do like her character um, in this, I like Sharpay in this movie anyway, but of, of course, you like Troy, and, you know, everyone likes Troy and Gabriella, but, um, so I actually really liked this series, I thought that the kids that they have in this show are so insanely talented it's crazy like their singing voices are amazing I feel like I follow all of them on Instagram now and they just like sing all the time and they're so so talented and I know like some of them have written songs for the, sh the show and that type of stuff but I actually really liked how they like went through and it was like a good like teenage drama show which you know why am I watching teenage drama shows I don't know but they're pretty good and it's uh I, I like how they like featured songs from the old show or from the movies but actually you know also new songs I just the only thing I didn't like is like how they actually portrayed I kind of wish they showed more of like the actual musical part when they got to it I feel like they just kind of like rushed through that at the end um and then obviously there's like a big cliffhanger so we'll wait till see what season two shows but uh one of definitely one of my favorite series that came on Disney plus um in addition to the Mandalorian and I actually this is like um I haven't done my number 10 yet but like a little side you know, honorable mention is um, Diary of a Future President or whatever that show is called. It's really cute. I actually never finished it. I should probably go back and finish that, but definitely way too young of a show for me. But um, I watched it because it was it was new and I thought it was actually a really cute show. So, um, but I thought High School Musical 
the musical the series was better for sure and definitely appealed I think even though it was like probably geared towards teenagers or younger kids now I feel like it definitely appealed to people who are my age just because of watching that movie when it came out so I know like on Instagram I used to watch people's stories when they were talking about it and they were definitely my age so um, and then the last show I'm going to put on the list is The Muppets. So I know The Muppets have had a lot of shows, but I'm specifically talking about The Muppets that was on ABC like two, no, probably closer to like four years ago, um, where they were making a TV show and like Kermit was like the producer and it was like when him and Miss Piggy broke up and I, um, it was, uh, it was kind of like in the style of Modern Family, they do like interviews of them during the show and I just I love this movie or the show so much I love the Muppets I feel bad I feel like the Muppets just never get a fair chance but to be honest like the Muppets now one that's on Disney plus right now I think is horrendous I really don't like it I feel like they could have done a much better job and I wish they would have done the one that they were originally gonna do with Josh Gad but neither here nor there the one that was on ABC a few years ago I think is the best one it is on Disney plus because my mom and I watched an episode of it recently and it's hilarious. I, I just think it's so, I don't know, there have been episodes where I've literally not stopped laughing the entire time. I thought they did a great time, a great job with it. And I feel like that show maybe would have succeeded a little bit more if it was on Disney Plus and not network television. So, um, but I feel bad. Like I said, the Muppets, I feel like they try so hard. They like won't give up on the Muppets, but they're just not popular enough for people to like get invested. So I feel like they never make it past a season or two of their shows or in the movies are not that great, but um, I hear that Muppets Babies is pretty popular, so hopefully that keeps the Muppets alive, so. All right, anyway, that is my top 10 Disney series and TV shows, and I am tapped out on this project, so next up, I think I'm going to try to move into the Disneyland universe of, like, some restaurants or attractions over there to talk about that, and, um, We'll see if we can go from there. I hope Disneyland opens soon just for the sake of people who live in California. I'm sure that I'm not going to be able to go anytime soon. Although I'm supposed to be going in May of next of 2021. But we'll see if that happens because now I'm seeing like reports that Disneyland may not open until 2022. Which would be nuts. And just like I think that would just like tank Disneyland which makes me very sad. And they just opened Galaxy's Edge. You know they have a lot of other projects that they've you know like Mickey and Minnie's run railway over there. So I just hope that's not true. So Anyway, until next time, I will see you next week, and I hope you guys have a good, I would say Halloween, but this video goes up after Halloween, so I hope you guys have a, big, a great beginning to your November.